Welcome to L&D Home. In today's video, we are going to be tackling this closet. This is actually a coat closet, but we use it for cleaning supplies and some of my craft stuff. Yes, I said some. I have an entire craft room. Stay tuned for that video because it's not any better than this. But I have let this get completely out of hand. It's a giant mess and it needs to be tackled now. So stay tuned for some major decluttering and organization and some tips I think will be helpful if you have a space that has gotten out of hand, and you also need to tackle that space. Let's go ahead and jump right on in and get to it. My very first tip is to work in sections. That's if you're doing a closet or even a room. If you take everything out of the space or everything out of the closet and you make one big pile, you're going to be overwhelmed. Your head might explode. There's going to be so much going on. So I'm going to be focusing right now only on the top shelf. I'm not touching anything else. And you can see how much stuff is coming from this top shelf, including our twister board that we actually never play with, but I did land on left hand. So hello. Thank you for being here today. But I suggest working in sections, making big piles is another thing I really love to do and tackling that pile bit by bit instead of pulling everything out and getting yourself stressed. So starting out, I'm only working on this top shelf. On this top shelf is a lot of files, paperwork, cards, pictures, things like that. So that's what I'm gonna be tackling first because for me, that was the easiest thing to do because I didn't have to really think too much about what I would need to get rid of or hold on to. I found these organizers at Goodwill for under $3 and they look like they're from Ikea and I actually highly suggest them if you happen to see them at Ikea. They're not super sturdy, but they are much more heavy duty than the ones from Dollar Tree. And I was able to use one for documents that were important, one for pictures, one for cards that family members and our kids have given us, and one for some other miscellaneous items and it worked perfectly for that. So I highly suggest them if they still sell them at Ikea. I started a trash pile and then here are those organizers. I love how everything is separated. There were some things that did not fit because they were too tall, but I know now if I need something, I can just go into one of those bins instead of having a huge tub of something that I have to work with and dig through. Another tip when you're decluttering and organizing is to clean as you go. This shelf was absolutely disgusting. It had not been cleaned in a long time. And you don't want to put all that work into organizing your space and making it look beautiful just to put it on top of something that's dirty and filthy. So I do suggest cleaning any shelves or any spaces as you go because it's just going to make the space feel a lot better. You can see the disgustingness of just half of this shelf. Really loving this system and having these smaller containers gives me a lot more room on the other side to organize more items. Another thing I love to do when I'm decluttering and organizing is to make a Goodwill or donation bin or basket or several if you need to. And you're going to see later in this video, I don't follow my own advice because I got overwhelmed and tired and bogged down and it made it so much worse. If you are able to box up things that you're getting rid of as you go, it's going to keep the space more clean and it's going to make your brain be able to think better with not all that stuff laying around. So I highly suggest as you're decluttering and you start to get a pile and it's stressing you out to go ahead and find a box or a bin or a bag and just start getting that stuff ready to donate. If you have a lot of greeting cards, I highly suggest seeing if you can fit them into one container, no matter the topic or type of greeting card. That way, when you need one, you can go to that one spot to grab whatever you need and you don't have a bunch of different boxes 
laying around that you have to shuffle through and find space for. So, feeling overwhelmed, but I think my next best bet is to start on like smaller things like this. Um, I have like some of these, just try and find all my paintbrushes and like markers and things like that and put them in a container and then take all my paint out and put that all together. I think that will help clear some of this. Before I do that, no, now I'm noticing I have like more frames and things that I was going to like keep to DIY. I realistically like all of this need to ask myself, am I gonna use it, am I not? Some of this stuff has been shoved in here for like ever. Um, all of this stuff too, so I think I'm gonna do that first. Then once I have that done, I'm going to work on smaller things like paint brushes, paint markers, all of that because I got an organizer from Goodwill that I believe is from like Joann's or something. They're usually really expensive. I got it for less than $6 and it's like a turntable. So I'm gonna try and work on that. But first, we need to grab some of this stuff. And I'm again just going to start making a giant pile of all of this without dropping it on my foot, hopefully. This is probably the hardest tip of all, but that is to be ruthless when you declutter, especially if you have a space like I have here where I've been holding on to stuff for far too long. There's stuff all over the floor. It's falling out of the closet when I open the door. This is the hardest one because we save things because we like them. If you're a DIYer like I am, you know you want to hold on to things because you might use it. Or maybe you have an attachment to items or home decor and you feel like you need it. You don't want to get rid of it. But really, it's really important to be ruthless because you're not going to be able to beautifully organize all of that stuff in the space if there's just not room for it. So if you're not using it and you can let it go, I really suggest letting it go to a better home. You're going to see me here in a second struggle with this advice so you know that it is real. It's actually a struggle. I have this glass container here. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I have this glass container here that I have been holding on to, and you can see how quickly I'm moving through the other items. But for some reason, when I got to this, I was like, no, I really, really want to DIY this. I really do. But ruthless, I finally decided that I need to let it go. And yes, like I said, this is going to be the hardest part, but it is necessary to let go of some things if you're wanting a beautiful space and you just have too many items for the size of the space that you have to store things. This is the part where I ignored my own advice from earlier, which is to box things up as you go. There was stuff everywhere and I was getting so overwhelmed that I had to start making trash bags so I could move them to the other side of the room so that I could see my progress. I also had that huge pile of stuff that needed to go to Goodwill. And when you look at all of that laying around, it almost makes your brain feel like you've made no progress at all when actually you really have made a lot of progress. So make sure that you are trash bagging things up and you are putting things in donation bins and getting them out of your sight so you can see how hard you have actually worked. I have barely made a dent. Like, I feel like, I mean, all of that is cleared off, but stuff's going back up there, but like, I feel like I've barely made a dent. When you're feeling overwhelmed, work on a smaller task. I got this divider for $5.27 at Goodwill, and I know it came from one of those craft stores, and it was originally probably very expensive. I've seen them before. It was missing a drawer, but I was not bothered by that. And since I was getting really overwhelmed, I decided to work on something that was going to cause me to pay attention to details and just kind of decompress a little bit. So I'm organizing all of my paintbrushes and things just because sometimes we need a smaller task where we can just sit and kind of mindlessly organize and really lose ourselves in the moment and we don't have to look at all of the mess. 
Sometimes a smaller task can really help restart or re-jump your brain to get back motivated into bigger parts of the project. And these smaller tasks are still necessary to have an organized space. So you're not like cheating the system here. You're just helping your brain decompress a little bit and you're still working and you're still organizing. So it's totally okay. After getting back motivated, I was ready to jump into pulling some more stuff out. I could see my progress. I had some things organized on the top shelf. I had all of my paintbrushes and everything ready to go. So now it was time to pull out some more items and keep working. So I'm just pulling out all of my paint, a bunch of other stuff. There's so much stuff in this closet. So if I can get this organized, so can you. If you have a space like this, I promise. Yes, it's going to feel overwhelming, but you can do it. And sometimes we just need to rearrange some things. I did decide that I wanted to take this bar out because we're not hanging anything on here. We are going to keep it just in case we ever sell and we need to put it back up. But really, it was just in my way. And I wanted this area to be taller and more convenient. Putting things up as you go is another great tip because it helps you see that progress again. So I decided to get rid of this toolbox and add it to this beautiful organizer that I have. And again, another small project. And now I can look and say, okay, it's coming together. So doing these smaller bits and putting things away as you're working and you've cleared out a space and you know where you want things to go is going to help you see the bigger picture and make you feel like you're coming closer to the end. I love being able to place things in categories when I can. I love my heat gun. I'll link a video down below of my favorite craft tools, but it was in with cleaning supplies and it just didn't make any sense. So I wanted to have the heat gun and all the accessories in one spot. I wanted to have my hot glue gun and my mini iron all in one spot so that when I'm crafting, it's easy for me to pull out that container and then put it back so my space stays organized. So if you have room or organization to do this, I highly suggest it because it's going to make it much more convenient when you go to use these items. Also, these Dollar Tree book boxes, file holders are perfect for Cricut vinyl if you have Cricut vinyl. So I highly suggest them for that. They're not super heavy duty, but they are really good for Cricut vinyl. All the time doesn't sound like fun. I wanted to share something really important, and that is that you might see me in three different outfits. Now, I do wear a lot of the same colors, so you might not be able to tell. But the reason I have three different outfits on is because I could not complete this in one day. This actually took me several days to complete because, well, life. I had after school events, I had family things. Sometimes we can't complete a project all in one day, and that is okay. Please give yourself grace, give yourself time, and don't feel guilty if you don't get it all done in one sitting. Sometimes it's just not possible. 
And that's another reason I like to work in sections and make smaller piles so that if you have to stop, you don't feel bad for stopping and your house is not a complete mess because you pulled everything out. So please just remember to give yourself time and patience when you're working on a project. And if you can't get it done all at one time, that's completely okay. We have to be able to live our normal lives as well. One of my goals for this space was to have more spots to put my cleaning supplies that I use. So I wanted to have a couple of shelves where I had my cleaning supplies organized. So I'm gonna have one bin where I have all of my Dyson attachments, another bin where I have my Bissell Steam Shot, and another one where I have miscellaneous other cleaning supplies as well. So that's why I really wanted to declutter this. Well, not the only reason. It was a hot mess, we've already seen. But I really wanted more space for cleaning supplies because I lack storage in this house. We just don't have a lot of storage. So since this is also a cleaning closet, I needed more containers and more bins to house some of my cleaning supplies as well. So I was really happy that I was able to get four bins with cleaning supplies in them. And they were all on one side right next to the cleaning supplies that were hung up on the wall. I had another goal to have some bins that would contain craft projects that I wanted to work on where I had all of the items for that project in one bin. And since I decluttered so much, I was able to do that. So it just goes to show you if you're willing to let go of things, you can have a space that you really, really love set up the way that you actually need it to function for you. Here is all of the trash that came out of this closet, three full bags and even a box full of stuff. Insane to think how much was in there, including the four containers of stuff that is going to Goodwill. And drum roll please, the final reveal. I absolutely love the way this space turned out. And what I love most is how much I was able to declutter, but also how much I was able to use to organize from what I already had. I only purchased those two things at Goodwill, all of the other organizational items I already had, so I did not have to spend hardly any money on this project to make it function well for me. I love that I have all my cleaning supplies on one side, all of these bins contain cleaning things that I use often, and they're right next to all of the cleaning supplies that I have hanging up, so I can come right to this side of the closet and grab what I need when I am cleaning my home. And on the other side, I have all of my craft supplies. Okay, well, not all. I have some immediate craft supplies that I do use often, and I like to keep upstairs because I do my crafting upstairs. And everything is so organized and so easy to get to, and best of all, nothing is falling out onto me as I open the closet doors. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it inspirational and motivating so you can tackle a space in your home. Make sure that you check out the video in the playlist on the screen and smash that subscribe button so you can become part of our YouTube family because you do not want to miss the craft room. If this closet was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. And that craft room organization and declutter video will be coming to you this summer and it's gonna be a doozy. Thank you guys so much for watching and have